our first lesson start with atoms. And then we work our way up to the biosphere. Atoms are the smallest units of living matter that couldn't be broken down by any chemical means. Elements are types of atom, and when you have uh, a bunch of those put together, you have molecules and compounds. So a bunch of atoms makes up molecules, and then we go up there and get larger and larger. And then a bunch of molecules put together makes up macromolecules, which are the building blocks of cells and organelles. And then so a bunch of macromolecules, you put them together, you get organelles. And then a bunch of organelles, you get cells. So that's pretty much half of our first semester. Let's put this into perspective. Let's say the atoms and um, elements, molecules, think of them as being sand. These are our raw material. They're the thing that we start off with. So atoms are like sand. And then um, when you have a bunch of them, uh, you have molecules and compounds. So you have a pile of sand. When you melt and burn and crush the sand, put them together and mix with other stuff, you have bricks. So these are the building material, which is the same thing as the molecules. You put them together and you get macromolecules. So these macromolecules and bricks are like the building material. So what do you do with bricks? You make buildings like houses and offices. Same thing with macromolecules. You use them to make organelles. So the organelles are compartments inside a cell. It's the same thing as houses that has rooms. So the rooms are found inside the house. So the organelles are found inside a cell and rooms are inside a house. And then the house is seen as a cell. And then a bunch of house on the same block, that's the same thing as having a bunch of cells working together, functioning together, which creates tissues. And a bunch of tissue makes organ. So it's like having a bunch of house it, together in one neighborhood, it makes up a city. And finally, a bunch of organs makes the organ system, and together they make one organism. So same thing as having a bunch of house inside a city, and a bunch of cities, you finally have a state. So that covers our first semester, which is the hard stuff, the thing that's hard to see. Now we're going to the second semester of biology, which starts from a bunch of the same organism. You make up a population, like a bunch of cat or a bunch of dogs, or in the wild, a bunch of uh, giraffe. And then when you have a mix of population, mix of... Uh, Oh, by the way, you notice how, like, when you drive from city to city, you notice, like, a big sign when you get from another city, it says, like, population of 1,100 something people or 1 million people, etc. So that notice, it's talking about a population, the same species being human. So this city has a population of 100,000 people. So all those people are same species, therefore it's a population. And then a mix of population like humans living with insects, with birds and stuff like that, that's a community. And then when you have a bunch of community, and then also includes non-living things like water and thunder and wind and such. You have an ecosystem. And finally, a bunch of ecosystem you put together, you get the biosphere, which is the Earth. And that's pretty much it. That's general biology for you. See? So it's pretty easy. It's not as hard as you think it is. Just keep those things in mind, the level of organization when you're studying about biology, so you know where you're at.